Hey everyone, Dan back here with Regular Guy Garage. What I'm going to be doing today is a much needed upgrade if you are running a modified Fox body, especially if it's heavily modified. Now just to remind everyone of the setup here, this is a 331 stroker Fox body. It's fully built, forged internals, comp cams, camshaft, uh, blueprint aluminum heads, trick flow intake, 76 millimeter on three turbocharger, but we are still on the stock ignition system. Now the ignition system, yes it works and it's adequate. I did a 653 in the eighth mile at 110 miles an hour, but for what we're doing, we should really have a much stronger ignition system. So what I'm gonna be doing today is installing an MSD ignition system and showing you how to install it and maintain your Holly Terminator X to control the timing in the vehicle. So here's everything that we've got for the car. We've got an MSD coil, some MSD wires, a pro billet distributor, and then also the MSD 6AL2, which has a rev limiter built into it. Along with that, we do have an adapter plug, which we will be able to use, and this really simplifies everything. All right, so before we start this install, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is disconnect your battery. I have a kill switch, so I just shut off the kill switch for the battery, or you can just disconnect the battery itself. I'm gonna start with the distributor. The first thing that we're gonna do is take the cap off and see exactly where the, the rotor is pointed, this way we can make sure that the rotor on the new distributor is facing in the same direction and it should get us really close before we go to check our timing. It looks like our rotor was pointed directly at the number eight cylinder. Now what I'm gonna do is remove all the ignition wires to give us a little more room to work. If you have the on three turbo kit, you'll have to remove the intake charge pipe and I'm also gonna remove the down pipe. You might be able to get away with the downpipe in there, but it's a really tight squeeze. I'm gonna remove it so you guys can see the install a little clear. Don't forget to be extra careful when you're removing your wideband because the last thing you wanna do is ruin that. Now we can go ahead and remove our downpipe. Now we'll go ahead and remove the distributor. Before we install the distributor, you want to make sure that you put the new O-ring on the bottom of the distributor that comes with the kit. Also you want to make sure that you use the provided brake and oil on the gear. This way you don't ruin the gear prematurely. Then they recommend I think that you use a 2050 um, weight oil or some other weights actually. So go ahead and make sure that you reference the instructions before actually sticking this down in the car. Now what we're gonna do is take our MSD ignition wires and we'll go ahead and start running all the wires to their appropriate cylinders. Make sure you take the appropriate measures to protect your plug wires. I use some plug wire boots so that the wires don't get burned on the exhaust manifold, which gets pretty hot when the turbo is actually spooling up. Next, we'll move on to our ignition coil. This is a very simple, straightforward install. We're just gonna remove the stock coil that's on there and replace it with the MSD coil. But instead of hooking up the connector from the stock wiring harness, what we're gonna do is plug the wiring harness into the adapter that comes from MSD, and then we'll plug that adapter back into the new coil, and then we'll go over what to do with the pigtail wires that come off when we get to the MSD box install later in this video. Now we'll go ahead and install our wiring harness adapter. We'll just leave this here for now and we'll come back to it later. Now we'll go ahead and move on to our MSD 6AL-2 CD box. And while it may look like a lot with all the wires and stuff, it's very simple and straightforward and I'll show you how to do it. First thing you wanna do is really mount this somewhere where it's gonna be out of heat. I'm probably gonna put it inside the car, but before I go ahead and do all of that, let me show you how to hook up the wires right here under the hood while I have it. If you take a look at the adapter that's on the ignition coil, you'll notice that there's a couple wires sticking out of it. So you have orange and black and then white and red. Now this is really simple and straightforward and I'll explain it really quick. So coming out of the MSD box, you'll already have a red pigtail connector that's already been terminated. And all you're gonna do is go ahead and simply plug it in to the red wire on the adapter harness. The same things are gonna go 
for the orange wire and the black wire. So we're gonna hook up the orange wire and then we're gonna hook up the black wire. And now on the left side of the harness, you'll have a pre-terminated wire. It's a white wire with a connector on it. And you are gonna plug this into the white wire. Now let me go ahead and move all of this rat's nest out of the way to show you the real main thing on how it actually plugs this back into the terminator system. All right guys, so now excuse me if the camera gets a little shaky, I have it in my hand. But basically, the white wire that plugs into your adapter harness here, this white wire actually runs up here, and if you see it on this, see it on this side of the adapter, it runs to the coil negative. Now this coil negative wire runs all the way back around, and this is actually what we have plugged into the white wire that comes off the TFI harness on your Terminator X system. And that corresponds directly with the points wire that is on that MSD box. So the Holly will still be controlling the timing on the engine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and find a spot inside the car to mount this thing. I'll run the wires, we'll show you the finished product, and then I'll show you how to hook up the two-step. Before we install the box, I'm, I went ahead and removed the plugs and then I put all my settings. So we have the cylinder setting at eight. I have the rev limiter set as the same that is in the Holly Terminator, which is 6,800 RPM, which we should never get to. And then lastly, I have the two-step right now set at 2,500. Now this one, I'll go ahead and play with it over time. For now, I just have it set at 2,500. And this is honestly really easy to explain. Thousands of RPM here, so I have a two for 2,000, and then hundreds of RPM, five, 2,500. Same thing for your rev limiter. And then for your cylinder selection, you can either do four, six, or eight. This one's a little hard to see. Make sure you shine a light in there. The middle of the selector is shaped like an arrow, but it's all white, so you really can't see it. So just make sure that you have the right one selected. I opted to mount my MSD box inside the car where the glove box used to be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run the wires. I already ran the wires back up through the firewall. They follow the Holly Terminator harness back over to where the ignition coil is. The black wire here is gonna be used for a ground. The Holly Terminator X ground mounted here. I'm just gonna go ahead and double them up. So I'll have the MSD box and the Holly Terminator X mounted to the same spot on the chassis. This thicker red wire with the terminal on the end is used for battery power. I'm gonna to need to extend it to get it back to my battery, which is back in the rear of the car, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's just some 14 gauge red wire, and we'll go ahead and run it straight back. The rest of these wires that aren't needed, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll them up, zip tie them together out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and clean up our area to get it looking nice and neat. Now the rest of these wires, they really only come out of the firewall to about here. We need to get them to go over there to that coil. So I do have to extend every wire. I'm gonna try my best to use the same color wires. This way I know which is which. I'm gonna run them one at a time just in case I don't have any of these colors. I believe these are 16 gauge wires. So we'll go ahead and we'll just follow it along that harness. And then we'll make sure we'll cover up all the wiring to make it look as neat as possible and protect it from any damage. Last thing we're gonna do is reinstall our downpipe put our charge pipe back on, and then go ahead and throw our wide band back in the car. One final thing, I'm gonna find a 12 volt source for this two-step. We'll go ahead and hook that up to the blue wire, and then we'll go ahead and test everything. All right, so for the two-step, I don't have a radio in the car, so I just cut one of the radio wires that supplies 12 volts. I have an old button here, and what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna attach one wire to the yellow wire from the button, the other wire will, wire will go to this blue wire and then I'll go ahead and mount the button up here in the car, and that will act as our two-step. Hit the button, it will send 12 volts from our yellow wire through the button to the MSD box and activate our two-step. Let's go ahead and hook it up, and then we'll give it a shot. And when we're finished hooking it all up, make sure everything's nice and tight, nothing's loose, nothing's out, nothing's out of place, secure it all down. Then we'll go ahead and check our timing. After we do that, we'll go ahead and give the two-step a test. We'll see if it actually all works. And then we'll take the car for a quick drive, make sure we have no issues with anything. MSD box works great in conjunction with the Holly Terminator X and it's that simple to hook up. The longest part of the whole install for me was to make that little bracket out of some steel that I had laying around just to screw it in the glove box. 
Aside from that, all this stuff bolts together super quick. It all wires together super quick. If you really want to, you can put it under the hood. It says just to keep it away from direct heat. I just chose to keep it inside the car because I'd rather keep it as far away from any real heat as I possibly can. If you guys are curious, I had the two-step, as you saw, set to 2,500 RPMs, and the car was able to build three pounds of boost just on, from sitting on it for you know maybe two seconds or so. And then the best part about this is if you have the Holly controlling your boost settings with a Mac valve or something like that. You can set up a boost builder ICF. Anyway guys, I highly recommend this kit if you don't have it. The car actually starts much smoother than it ever did. The car runs much smoother than it ever has with this ignition system. I will drop a link down in the description from where I bought it if you want to go ahead and purchase it yourself or look at it. I did buy the whole kit. You could probably piece together the kit or maybe just buy the 6AL or buy the oil or whatever. Anyway, I hope this install really helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.